can anyway. Here to help us out with that criminal defense attorney, Joey Jackson. I'm Joey Jackson. Well, Joey, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Joey. Experts. Joey Jackson, Holly Hughes. In your life, in the event that you had to make a movie of your life, I want you to think about who you are, who you would want to be, and who would be the best actor or actress to depict you. Are you who you want to be now? Are you on a mission to become who you want to be in the future? And what would that movie say about you? If you had to write the script of yourself, and you were being broadcasted, and you saw who you were on that screen, and you saw how your life unfolded, how would you want to see that unfold? If we're not failing, we're not trying. The bottom line is that in this life that we have of ours, we're going to get knocked down. There are going to be obstacles that we confront that perhaps take us for a loop. But we have a choice to make if or when that does happen to us. I didn't grow up when I was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 17 knowing what I wanted to do in life. I didn't wake up as a child running around with a bottle and a toddler saying, I want to be a lawyer one day. The fact is, is it's something that I discovered. You know, I must admit to you that there was a time that I didn't even want to go to college. And, but not for my mom and the direction she gave me and in going on a college visit, who knows whether I'd be having the pleasure of giving you this presentation. But the point is, is I did go. And it was there that I met a mentor and someone who cared enough about me. Just like the people around you care enough about you. Whether that be people who work with you here and your counselors, whether that be your family members, or whether that be other friends. And the fact is, is they see things in you, and you, of course, will recognize and see things in yourself. And in doing that, that will bring you to a conclusion about who you want to be, what you want to do, and how you want to spend your life. We have a right in growing and in learning, as I said, to fall. We will. But we also have a right and an obligation to find solutions to problems. And all of us can do great things for ourselves if we work on finding those solutions, if we're creative, and if we don't panic. As a teacher, maybe there is a student who has exceptional potential, but what are you going to do to motivate them to tap into that potential, to make that student all that they can be? The solution to that problem is the solution that stands between having the next Bill Gates from that student who was a problem in your class to someone who doesn't reach the potential of becoming an executive like that to having in your class the next person who could be a researcher, a scientist, to cure cancer. But you as a teacher have to find that solution through that student to make them all they can be. As we travel along the course of our lives, have a responsibility to each other. We have a responsibility to work with each other, to assist each other, and yes, to love each other. The bottom line is we could all be better friends, better neighbors, better sons, better daughters, better people. Because at the end of the day, it's about human decency. And it's about giving of your time to things that you believe in, to causes you believe in, and to people that you believe in. At the end of the day, it's about leaving your mark on humanity. It's about making it a better place. It's about making those around you find a spark within themselves. It's about supporting the people around you. And it's about the people around you making and knowing that the world's a better place because of you. And in doing that, understand that we do have that obligation to give of our time. Now, I believe in each and every one of you here. The question is... Will you, will you, and do you believe in yourself? Because ultimately, the way in which we advance, the way in which we do better, the way in which we find our goals and our dreams is that we believe in ourselves. 
And in having that belief in ourselves, that's how we tap into the dreams that we have. That's how we reach our full potential. And that's how we leave and make the world a better place around us. And that's the obligation that we have.